talk more now about what is happening in India, recording its highest ever temperatures, Delhi hitting 52.3 degrees Celsius. This is shaping up to be the longest and the worst heat wave Delhi has seen in the last 74 years. Between March and May 2024, India experienced heat waves on 54 days. By lightning, floods and landslides shared 71 and 40 days respectively. These pre-monsoon weather events cannot be ruled as an anomaly for a year that witnessed extreme weather events for almost 88% on the 365 days. These extreme weather events claimed upwards of 3,000 lives, affected 3.2 million hectares of crops, destroyed above 235,000 houses and killed north of 9,000 livestock. It's 2025 and summer is right around the corner. Let's take a look back at how 2024 panned with respect to extreme weather events, especially the summer. The India Meteorological Department or IMD in its annual climate summary of 2024 stated that 2024 was the warmest year since 1901. Before the onset of the monsoons, the pre-monsoon or the summer season, which usually lasts from March to May, tallies to around 92 days. And within these 92 days, heat waves were recorded on 54 days. In 2024, while the overall temperature stayed close to normal, southern India experienced unusual heat, recording its third highest maximum temperature at 35.28 degrees Celsius, second highest minimum at 23.33 degrees Celsius, and second mean temperature at 29.31 degrees Celsius. The mean and maximum temperature in parts of states such as Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Sikkim, Jammu and Kashmir was above normal by about 1 degree Celsius. The previous decade, that is 2015-2024, was also the warmest decade ever recorded with the averaged annual mean temperature anomaly of 0.31 degree Celsius. According to Heatwatch's 2024 report titled Struck by Heat, a news analysis of heat stroke deaths in India in 2024, between March and June, there have been 733 deaths due to heat stroke in 17 states in India. Have a look at this map wide distribution of deaths in the 17 states. The total adds up to 733 deaths. Now contrast this data presented in the 18th Lok Sabha session by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The government's total adds up to 360, almost half of the reported data by Heatwatch. The report further mentioned the gaps in the implementation of the guidelines outlined by the National Programme on Climate Change and Human Health and National Centre for Disease Control to mitigate climate change. Now, these gaps exist owing to the absence of information and infrastructure to combat heat-related health issues. Hospitals are not equipped with the facilities to fight heat waves, and doctors and other healthcare professionals are unaware about these guidelines. This lack of preparedness and ignoring the guidelines has resulted in avoidable deaths. The guidelines state that the central and state governments have to set up a heat desk. Now, this heat desk includes access to water, an ambulance and an air-conditioned indoor facility, an on-site cooling equipment and other post-cooling requirements. Now, had these been followed, then the tragedy of 33 polling officials losing their lives due to heat strokes during the 2024 Lok Sabha elections in Uttar Pradesh could have been avoided. The surge of ever-increasing heat will likely enter into 2025 as well. January 2025 is already 0.9 degrees Celsius higher than January 2024. Fossil fuel emissions remain the main culprit, driving the greenhouse or GHG emissions and the capping of global temperature limit at 2 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial levels per the Paris Agreement now remains highly unlikely. Scientists also worry that the overwhelming influence of heat waves across the oceans has reduced the cooling effect of La Nina. If radical steps to cool the Earth are not taken, then each year will get increasingly worse.